Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an NFS server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed NFS server. So simply click on get it now. After that click on continue. And then from this product description page simply click on create. Now after that. You would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose a resource group by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm just going to call this one as NFS. After that choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and then choose the VM architecture and the size of virtual machine according to your requirements. Once that is done, simply give credentials for the administrator account. Remember that this is the administrator account that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Once that is done, simply click on review plus create. Now this is going to start a validation process so simply wait for the validation process to fully complete. Once the validation process is done, simply click on create to actually create this virtual machine. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, simply click on go to resource. And then from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose RDP. After that, simply click on download the RDP file. And once that file is downloaded, simply click on it to establish an RDP connection. So click on connect. And then it is going to ask you for the credentials. So type in your username and the password. And then click on OK. And then it is going to prompt you one more time. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you would see this application which is known as a Server Manager. From here you want to establish a new NFS share. Now to create this NFS share, simply click on this option that says File and Storage Services and then move over to the Shares tab. And then in here you're going to click on this arrowhead icon and then click on New Share. So this is going to open up this new share wizard and you can choose the file share profile. So I'm just going to go with NFS Share Quick and then click on Next. And then you can type in a custom path. So I'm going to type in D colon forward slash share. So this share is going to be the name of my shared folder. So click on next and then you can choose the name of the share if you want to name it something different. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave it as it is and then click on next. Now it is prompting us that the specified folder does not exist. So click on OK to actually create it. And then you can specify the authentication methods. So I'm just going to go with all of these and then click on next. And in here you can type in the IP addresses of the host that you want to allow to access this particular share. Basically the IP address of your clients. So simply click on add and then you can simply add in the IP address over here. But for now I'm just going to go with all machines and then I'm going to change the share permissions to read and write and then click on add. After that simply click on next and then click on next once more. After that, it is going to show you all of the settings that you're going with. If you're satisfied with these settings, then simply clicking on create would actually create this NFS share. So as you can see that it says that the share was successfully created. Now you can close this. And now the NFS share has been created. All that there is left to do is to mount this NFS share onto the Windows operating system. Now to mount this NFS share, head to the client's operating system and then open up the file explorer, click on this PC and then click on this tab that says computer and then click on map network drive. So in here you need to pass in the IP address of your virtual machine which is our server and then the name of the shared folder. Now to get the IP address, head back over to Azure and then click on overview. Copy the public IP address from over here and then you are going to come over to this map network drive and you are going to start with double forward slashes and then you are going to paste in the IP address of your virtual machine followed up by another forward slash and then you are going to type in the name of the shared folder which in our case is share. Once that is done, you are simply going to click on finish and then it is going to attempt to connect to the shared folder. And now as you can see that we have this new network drive which is mapped on our NFS share. You can also mount this NFS share on Linux. For that you can visit the link in the description box for the step by step blog post guide which contains the command to execute on Linux. 
Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.